Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. I haven't really been that active on social media, YouTube, Instagram, any of that here recently. I've just been dealing with some stuff, some personal stuff that my close friends know and everything. And I've also been cutting weight for Vegas and stuff and that was just so time consuming that I wasn't able to get out an informational video because those take a few hours of research and or a few hours of filming or like whatever it takes. We just got back from Vegas so my, my schedule's kind of calmed down quite a bit and everything for, for right now until the season actually starts again. So I'm here making this video right now. I hope you guys enjoy. This is my story on why I started personally lifting and why I think you should start lifting if you haven't started lifting or at least just try out some weight training see if you like it or not so let's dive in seventh grade year I started to kind of notice that all my friends were like developing and stuff a little bit faster than I was like I was still I wasn't tall but I wasn't like short either but yeah they were just a little bit like more developed more muscular I was still like this really super super scrawny skinny kid and they were starting to pack on a little bit more muscle, even if they weren't like lifting or whatever, just that like extra testosterone of puberty and stuff like going through them. This is so dumb, but after seventh grade, we went on an Ohio All-Star trip and everything. And all my friends on that trip had like armpit hair and like starting to grow like a little bit of like chest hair, some facial hair, like they'd have to like shave their mustache and stuff. And I was like super like hairless, like had no hair, no muscle, you know, I still like looked like I was like eight years old. I was like, man, you know, like, I really want to start, like, doing something, like, to increase my testosterone level because, you know, that's how a good way to, like, grow body hair. So dumb. So that was, like, the summer or whatever. And so when I got back, I, like, asked my parents. I was like, hey, do you think you guys can, like, get me, like, some weights and stuff? Because I had read up on, like, a little bit of studies even back then that uh, weight training actually produces higher testosterone levels and everything. So... I asked them to, if they could give me some weights and stuff, and yeah, they actually did, and so we went to Sears that day and bought like a bench and like the little skinny barbell, uh, like the standard bar, some standard weights and stuff, and had that for a few years and everything, and then so I would lift on that like maybe like twice a week, like I wasn't like super like interested in it still, because I like really didn't know what I was doing, didn't really like follow a program or anything like that. So like I would like bench and stuff and like I saw like a little bit of muscular results but I didn't see a whole lot. And so I kind of just like stopped doing that. And then when uh, wrestling season came, like my eighth grade year, me and one of my good friends, uh, Jarrett Jurgens, every day before practice we'd go lift at CrossFit. But CrossFit for us, we did it more to like lose weight and stuff. So it wasn't like really lifting weights. So besides me like kind of messing around on the bench and stuff and like I would even like try to like squat and stuff but like you can't even really do that on like a bench you know like you're doing like box squats I guess but it's not really like a leg day workout but yeah so I did stuff like that and did CrossFit in eighth grade didn't really gain a whole lot of muscle or anything because we were doing it more for like the cardio purposes of CrossFit not any like gaining strength anything like that freshman year came and that was the first time I actually like started to lift weights kind of and right around seventh eighth grade as well is when I started to kind of like getting on YouTube and stuff and like researching and not researching really but like kind of watching like some more fitness inspired people like Chris Jones, uh, Christian Guzman, um, Bart Kwan, some of those guys kind of inspired me to kind of like look into it a little bit more and I kind of wanted to like look like them a little bit too because you have to think that uh, freshman year I was like maybe like 5'4", like 125, 130 freshman year. And that was just like, because of my height, that was still like super skinny. I'll insert a picture of myself right here. Wrestling season, we had preseason and everything. And we did some workouts and stuff, but I never like pushed myself because I didn't really like know what I could do. So like on bench, I might only do like 15 pounds and like I just didn't know what I could do and everything. So I never like took even weights then super seriously. I don't know if you guys can see there's like a fly like zooming around back and forth. And so I didn't gain like a whole lot of muscle mass or anything so I just didn't like take it that serious. My second reason, which is really funny I think, knowing now what I know, is uh, post wrestling season I wanted to just get stronger and everything in general so I was going to start picking up the weights again and stuff. I still had no idea where to start but uh, the girl that I was dating at the time actually was in soccer and so like 
I had picked out this date that I wanted to get big for, right? It was like, uh, say, like April something. I don't know, because it was like March 1st is when I like looked at this. It was like April maybe like 15th. And I was like, you know, that's about six weeks away. I think I can get blown up in six weeks if I just work really hard every single day. The reason I wanted to get blown up for that date, it was like the Dodge game, I'm pretty sure, was somewhere in there. And uh, I wanted to paint my chest with like a G or something, like be like super fanboy, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. So I wanted to do that, and so I was like, I got six weeks time, I can definitely make like so much gains, I can get a big chest and big arms and everything, and I had actually measured myself, like my arms, and uh, I don't remember what my chest measurement was, but I'm pretty sure my arms were like 10 and 3 quarters or something like that, maybe 11, maybe, that's like pushing it, like, that's like with a pump and everything. So yeah, I talked to my, like one of my best friends now, Tyler, like we were always cool growing up, but like we never really like, never really like talked a whole lot or hung out or anything. In eighth grade we talked a little bit, but like that was just because we had like classes and stuff together. And I saw that he was kind of like more into weights than I was and stuff and like, I just wanted to like learn and kind of like get into it because I still had no clue of where to start and everything. Even though I had kind of like watched some people on YouTube or whatever. So what I ended up doing was asking him if he could like take me to the rec actually, which is really funny. And uh, cause the rec like doesn't have a weight room or something anymore, I'm not sure. But took me to the rec with him. And I remember like the very first day, he's like, all right, we're gonna max out. First day maxing out and uh, yeah, it was kind of interesting. You just text me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, first day, let's max out. And I'm pretty sure the very first day I maxed out to where like I couldn't get the weight anymore or whatever. I got up to 145, which is like the barbell, plate, and five. So I did 145 my like first day of actually like really pushing myself in the weight room. I tried like 150 or 155 and couldn't get it. At this time, Tyler was just like repping out a plate for like reps, and I thought that was like so amazing. I was like, dude, how do you do that and everything? So he kind of like took me under his wing, and uh, what's really funny is we actually did chest like every single day pretty much, just because that's the one body part that I really wanted to grow. And so like my bench shot up and we would squat maybe once a week and we did like some back accessory stuff. But if you deadlifted at the rec at the time, the person working the front desk would like walk up and like ask you to be quiet because like it was on the top floor and you're like banging the weights or whatever. And it's like a really commercial gym like status. So uh, we maybe deadlifted like once a week with like crappy like uh, the cat back form and stuff. Yeah, so we did bench like say Monday, we'd squat Tuesday, deadlift Wednesday, do bench Thursday, do like arms Friday, and then do like shoulders Saturday. So it was like all upper body all the time for the most part. That is basically like my whole story of why I started lifting because in that six weeks time, I wanted to get big. Six weeks came and my arms maybe grew from 10 and three quarters to slightly bigger and maybe like 10 and five sixths, maybe 11, who knows. It wasn't a whole transformation, but just doing that uh, actually made me like fall in love with lifting weights because I just feel super, super great whenever I go into the gym and add five pounds on my bench, add five pounds on my squat, five pounds on my overhead press, five pounds on my deadlift. Like that's what made me start chasing it. So I started chasing those numbers and like over the summer that year, I went from like a 145 bench to I think a 225 pound bench my squat went from like, literally I could barely squat the bar. Like my form and mobility was trash. I might've been able to do like 25 for like two or three reps. So that's like 95 pounds from 95 pounds to about like 150 or so. And then my deadlift went from like, like 185 to like 315. So those were like my beginning numbers of like where I was in over a summer's time of where I got still doing like the upper body all the time split. So that's why my bench was like so much stronger than everything else for the most part. From that, I just kind of transitioned into, I'm chasing these numbers of, I want to get my total as high as I can and also look as good as I can. That's why I still do like my strength sets and everything. And then I'll come back after that and I'll do like my hypertrophy stuff and things like that so I can actually like grow my muscle because a bigger muscle is a stronger muscle. And everyone has their like different reasons to start lifting. It kind of boils down to like what motivates you. So if you're a super scrawny kid, let's say you're like six foot tall and like 130 pounds, right? But you like that girl over there, but she doesn't like super tall and skinny guys, you know, and you want to start lifting weights. If that motivates you, man, then go for it. Or you can be like one of my good pals, Gilbert, you know, the silverback. 
when uh, we started training together, maybe a few weeks after me and Tyler had started training together, his big goal was to lose weight. He thought, okay, well, lifting weights and running and stuff, uh, I'm gonna lose some weight. So he went from about like, I don't know what he told me, maybe like 310, 320, all the way down to like 250. And then he had like some injuries and stuff that kind of kept him out of the gym, so he like gained a little bit of weight. But now, him at 300, he is not a fat dude anymore. He might be a little bit bigger and huskier, whatever you might want to call him. But he is a strong dude. Like, he's if you saw him at 320 or whatever freshman year, that's a fat, chunky little kid, man. And now you see him at 300, you're like, man, that's he's pretty blown for being 300 and everything. So that's one dude I'm super proud of. But everyone has their different reasons. Like, if you just want to get stronger for a sport, I think you should definitely weight train. Sports specificity comes into play every once in a while. But if you want, just want to get stronger and get your vertical higher or whatever the thing may be, squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press. Four main exercises that you should be trying to progressively overload on. And that's going to also help like your musculature and stuff. So you're not going to get hurt as easy. So let's say you jump up for like the ball in basketball, right? And you land on like right, just like this, you know? How many people get hurt landing just like this? Not that many. But every once in a while it does happen. And especially to like some of the skinnier guys who like just don't lift as much weights or like they just like don't take it as serious or whatever. If you lift those weights and stuff and you create uh, more muscle fibers and everything like that that get recruited, you're gonna be, gonna be a lot safer when you when you land like this versus when that other guy lands like that. So safety is another thing. Appearance is also another thing that people like struggle with and stuff. As you saw from my picture before, I was like a super really scrawny kid and I never would say I had like self-confidence issues or anything like that because I was always like a pretty like funny like jokester kind of kid. I'd go to the pool or whatever and yeah to take my shirt off I was like kind of embarrassed because yeah I had like some abs or whatever but I didn't have any muscle like I was still just like this scrawny little like 12 year old looking kid at 15 or whatever. I wanted personally just to like grow my physique and stuff and one of my big inspirations is, uh, is this Christian Guzman. And they were actually like super motivational to me and I learned a lot from both of them and through their like guidance and stuff uh, actually helped me achieve to what I feel like for being 17, almost 18, a pretty good physique and some pretty good numbers. And I can't wait till after my team and everything, we hopefully win that state title. And uh, after state and everything, and I'm just gonna bulk and try to keep growing my physique because that's what motivates me now. Yeah, that's kind of the story of why I started lifting, why Gilbert started lifting. Tyler actually started lifting because basically because like we both went together, we both thought it was really fun and he wanted to grow his physique and get as strong and as big as he could too. So everyone has their different reasons and if you're scared to start, don't be scared because we were the guys who didn't know anything. We did upper body five days a week, you know, just get in there, do the different machines and do whatever exercises you want because you never know what works for you. If you need any help, I'm always willing to help people Leave a question down in the comments below if you have any questions or you can contact me on any of my social medias. I'd be more than willing to help. And I think that is going to conclude this video. Thank you guys for listening to my little story time. I kind of enjoyed sitting here talking like this. Hopefully get some more videos pumped out soon. I have some things in the works working with some different people to hopefully get some better quality, better sound, stuff like that. That's it for this one. Uh, keep getting your 1% better every day. Keep climbing towards the top of that mountain. Achieve your goals. If you're scared to start, every master was once a rookie. So just start. See ya. So, ah, there's a fly.